a lot of times I get stuck on the computer looking at different things and I have to close it and say, you know what, my, the answers for me are not in, on the film or they're not in the computer, they're on the floor with the players. And uh, I, I think it's really important that you're able to separate when you're working at a desk on a computer and be able to shut that off and get onto the floor and really feel the players and, and get into what they're feeling and try to help them because players know when you could help them with something, they'll go to the wall for you and I think that's really important. My name is Rex Kalamian. Uh, I've coached now for the Toronto Raptors. Uh, I've been in the league for 24 years and I've been with seven different teams. I've lived in Los Angeles my entire life until the NBA started uprooting me and taking me to different cities. I went from school to playing basketball every day and I don't think I ever let, let my mind drift as to what's outside of the sport that I love so much. I really didn't think about coaching until uh, probably my junior year in high school when uh, my high school coach mentioned it to me one day. He said, you know what, he said, you make a really good coach someday. And I, I looked at him kind of strange and I said, coach, I never even thought about coaching. I played two years at East Los Angeles College. I had an injury and I had to sit out a year and that's when the uh, coach there said, hey, why don't you come and help us and be a graduate assistant. And I was you know, able to, from there, get a job with the Los Angeles Clippers. I would rebound for players after practice, guys like Kiki Vandeway, who were still playing at the time. It was a, a really fun time for me, and once I got around the NBA, I realized that that's the direction I wanted to head in. I think that early in my career, having Bill Fitch as the first coach that I worked for was very important for me. He taught me the game. More importantly, I, I think that he taught me work ethic. I really learned how to watch film, how to handle practices, and I learned a lot from him in the four years that I was with him. I try to bring a tremendous amount of positive energy into the gym. Uh, I think it's really important in the NBA because the seasons are so long that, and there's so many ups and downs. They're going to come into the gym and they're going to look at the coaches, especially if you've gotten blown out the night before. How are the coaches today? And I think you really need to come in with the same philosophy and the same demeanor almost every day. And, and, and then when you need to turn it up, they know it's time to turn it up. I'm always trying to be the best assistant coach I could possibly be. I mean, that's where my sights are set. but. I do feel like I'm prepared to become a head coach. I think uh, the players that I coach, I've gotten great feedback on how they feel about me and how I could lead a team. And I would like to take the challenge on of, of leading an organization and uh, being uh, the head coach of an NBA team, hopefully someday soon. So we'll see how, how it goes.